Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Sam. Welcome to this video. Uh, so this is going to be about the bonuses throughout May, um, specifically the RuneScape road trip. And I decided to make a little video on it just to show you what is actually going on uh, in case you haven't done it yet. So where you want to go first is come over to uh, Burthorpe and speak to the challenge mistress Farah. Just go to RuneScape road trip and she will give you this journal. Um, with challenges in it which you know you'll need to complete throughout the month um, and then you'll get rewards from it so it's, it's quite straightforward what you need to do uh, there you go for the journal to open it and it tells you um, what you need to do if you click on it so complete a dungeoneering floor on a complexity 6 uh, complete a slayer assignment so as you can see they are very sort of straightforward nothing too insane and I believe every time you complete a task you get a reward and if you go over to the rewards here you can actually see uh, what you can get so for example every task will yield an XP lamp so that's pretty nice and so everyone you do here is uh, you know gives you a XP lamp I believe you can do one every day uh, but as you can see it says JMod uh, support here which I'm not entirely sure what it means I've heard that they need to stamp the the actual challenge but I haven't actually done that yet so I don't really know what's going on there but I believe it is just one challenge or one task a day um, but I suppose just to wait and see maybe in the um, you know further part in the video might find out that you can do more I'm not entirely sure but for the rest of the rewards you can get hiker boots which you get straight away as soon as you get the road trip journal you get a hiker cap um, hiker jacket hiker leggings hiker backpack and also a cheeky monkey uh, that's when you do all the tasks and a party hat fire making emote they did this for April Fool so it's uh, they're sort of bringing it back because I think a lot of people liked it and I thought it was kind of cool anyway so it's cool that they're doing that and uh, yeah all these rewards as you can see it just tell you at the side so you need to complete five tasks for the cap 10 for that 15 etc so pretty straightforward um, open for everyone I don't think there's too many requirements for this but what I'm gonna do is complete a challenge and uh, show you what I get from it and then I might be able to try and find a Jagex mod and see what they can do with actually stamping the challenge and seeing what that does but I'm gonna do the challenge now um, so let's see what I get Alright then guys, so I decided to go with the task which required you to burn 100 logs. I thought that was a really easy one because I had some people here doing bonfires and I thought I'd just join in seeing as it's literally a few squares away from um, the person who gives out the reward. So as you can see in my chat box, I am nearly there to completing the task and from this I should get an XP lamp. Now I don't actually know how much you get from it. Um, I don't know if it's like a small lamp or a medium lamp or anything like that. Uh, I suppose we're just going to have to wait and see, but there we go. Uh, it says you have completed a RuneScape road trip task, and I've been given a reward lamp. So, okay, so you don't have to go back to her, this person then. Maybe you need to go to her to collect the journal. I'm not too sure, but I don't know. Uh, but there we go. Let's uh, see how much XP we get from this. I'm going to put it into agility just because, yeah, I don't know. I just want to put it into agility, slow skill, and 14.5k. So definitely not the most XP you can get from it, but I suppose if it's like going to be a daily thing, um, it's probably worth doing to you know it'll probably add up after a while so pretty nice let's open the journal and see how things are so there we go we've got the green sort of square on it and uh, I don't know now where the jmod thing is it says jmod support on that but not on this one anymore but I do know that a jmod is in a certain world right now which I'm going to go over to and see how that works and uh, yeah I'll see you guys over there okay so the certain jmod is somewhere in the Lumbridge crater so I'm gonna have a look around and see if I can find a bunch of people and there we go looks like she's probably over here so I don't really like know how this works I don't know if I have to to trade her or you know I don't know I don't actually know how to do this but um oh there we go mod slayer tried to help you out with your runescape road trip task but couldn't as you have moved away okay um let's see then let's ask can you stamp me oh there we go what's this a uh, emote I don't know if that's actually part of it. Sweet, there we go. So it says you have been given a reward lamp, so another one, wow. Let's open up the journal, let's see what's going on. Um, oh sweet, so that one, I guess if she stamps it, it just automatically completes a random one, so you can get it done twice as fast, I suppose, throughout the whole thing. I don't know, that's kind of cool. Uh, it hasn't got like the green square around it, so I don't honestly know if that's correct, but, oh yeah, no, it does have a green square, it's just very hard to see from here compared to that one unless I highlight over it no I don't know um, but there we go that's done maybe it might untick tomorrow I'm not too sure I think it just stays the same throughout the whole thing now but 
that one was to complete a slayer assignment so that one's kind of that one would have been a slow one if i was going to do it because i probably would have done it through curadel but uh that's complete and of course got another reward lamp so if i rub it again putting on agility i always cannot decide if it's agility or divination but i swear divination just i don't know it just it feels better i know you got the silver hope boots for agility but divination i guess you can sort of more it's easier to afk so yeah uh, but another 14k agility xp or 14.5k so it's pretty much like 30k agility xp for me every day it might vary depending on your level so quite a sort of nice thing to do um i mean all the challenges here are very varied so you know you're going to be doing loads of different things throughout the whole whole month which is great um and of course you've got the rewards here again so don't forget about that got the hiker boots which uh, i don't know actually how to claim maybe you have to go back to um the person at the start the the mistress Fara to claim all of this but i'll probably do that towards the end just because um i'm not too fussed but i'm looking forward to getting the monkey uh that's gonna be nice to have in the game um it's actually if you've not seen it on the bts it's actually really sort of like detailed so that's kind of nice and of course the party hat fire making if only you could get a party hat from this like a red pie that's my favorite one so it would be nice to get a pie hat but that would have been uh quite stupid but guys that will be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and uh had fun listening and until next time i will see you in the next video